Good morning everybody, welcome to my creative time with Emma and also welcome to our very last day of our sneaky peeks. Um, today is a super fun one. I loved every single thing that we actually um, showcased to you this whole week but for some reason this next one is just way too cute. It's adorable and it after I designed it, it totally just won my heart over. I loved it. Um, it's called Oh Dear, and it comes with a total of 23 stamps. And with the coordinating, there are, let's see, one, two, three, four. Yes, it comes with a total of 12 dies, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and show you the dies right now. And here they go right here. Like I said, again, this is called Oh Dear. Um, and it comes with, I wanted to give you a variety of, um, of deers because, you know, I, it's like you have some little bit of a classy deer and then you have like a cute deer and then you have your deer that you could just, just, I just love them. I just wanted to give you a variety of them. Okay. So first of all, this open die is um, a die that you use if you want to stamp it. Okay, so I'm going to show it to you right here. This is what it looks. So what you want to do is just go ahead and stamp it on your cardstock and then um, go ahead and just put that die on top of your on top of the image and you run it through your machine. So you could color it in. You have that option. Um, what I did here is I was going to make a project out of this but I'm going to save it for Friday for the blog hop. But what I did here was I, um, which I could have done with this little die, you could go ahead and mask off the nose because if you don't mask off the nose on the stamp it will all stamp out in brown. So um, you could go ahead and just leave it alone stamp it normal and if you want a little red nose you could use this little circle that comes in this die set that little circle that little ovally shape right here um, you could just go ahead and just cut that out of red cardstock and go ahead and attach it for the little red nose that's if you want your little reindeer to have a red nose it could be brown whatever you want okay so that's the stamp version and that stamp does come with this set okay and then we have these cutie patootie other little um, reindeers here. Now this reindeer, it has the little eyes, these little tiny circles. Two little tiny circles are the eyes that go with that. Um, and then this here belongs on the mouth and then here goes the nose. So I'm going to show you an example. Oh, and these are the cutie patootie little antlers, all right? So I'm going to show you here what he looks like all put together okay so basically that little odd shape which is this one right here it kind of looks like an egg that goes there on his face and then the little nose which is a little ovally shape there now since these little two little dots practically are so tiny I also with the stamp set I have a stamp with those two dots where you could stamp on your deer if you don't want to handle the tiny pieces to put on, okay? So I stamped the eyes on here, then I just used all the layers. Where So I cut it out in this um, craft color cardstock, and then I cut out the little antlers in dark chocolate color, and then the rest of it in the red, the nose. I made the red, um, the nose in red, and that little extra piece like in an off-white color. It's almost like a linen color. You don't necessarily have to use that, but I just wanted to show you what it's for, okay? And then we have the word dies, which is oh dear, okay? And I will show you what that looks like in one of my uh, cards, one of my tags I made today. And then we have these two cutie patootie little reindeers. Um, one's bigger than the other, and you could make a card with them facing each other. And then we have this pretty little classy looking one. It looks like it's flying in the air. <laughs> um, and what else? Oh, also I wanted to mention this part here, the part that you, the open die, you could actually use that as a shadow behind your little guy right here. So this is a good example here. So this is the stamp version. Same, for example, if you don't want to use the stamp, you just want to use all layers. 
if you go ahead and put your little guy onto there it'll serve as a layer for underneath your little um, reindeer isn't that cute so that's it for the dies okay and then there are different sentiments now for the oh dear even though I made them in die version I also made them in the stamp set you'll see them I made stamps of them as well for those of you who don't want to um, use the dies okay so let me show you the three items I made I made three different tags because I wanted to show you what they all looked like each reindeer looked like the only thing I didn't do was the coloring one which you could see my design team members um, a few of them did the coloring of them and they did an awesome job okay what should I show you first okay I'm going to show you the non Christmassy one because there are non Christmassy um, sentiments in this set here okay so let me kind of zoom out here just a tad so you can see the entire thing isn't this beautiful I love love this ribbon here I don't know what color it is let's see it's Bermuda Bay um, ribbon and this is from Stampin' Up adorable I love that color um, so anyways that's where that ribbon is coming from and then I use some little um, just some regular craft color uh, twine on this and then here goes the oh dear I was kind of see how it kind of goes like this so don't think it's super straight because it's not It kind of goes like in a little angle so oh dear what I did was I cut it out a few times I cut it out in that Bermuda Bay color uh, cardstock and I colored cut it out in chocolate brown just so I could put it on so it could have like a little shadow behind it so I kind of offset it a little so oh dear I love you so much the I love you so much stamp is also included in this set and here goes the two cutie patootie little reindeers. Aren't they just adorable? Um, and then I use the stitched grass die that I have along with my little stitch layered hearts. I use the smallest one in the center. And then what I did, I made a boo-boo on this one. I, after I put this together, I did not leave room for me to make a hole at the top to put the ribbon through. So what I did was I just cut out this shape here. This is from my 3x4 journal die. Okay. And what I did was I, I cut out a second one in this chocolate brown color. And I kind of offset it a little just to kind of make it look like a little shadow. Just to kind of give it a different look. Which I kind of have didn't have a choice because I wanted to... I didn't want to make a card. My goal is to make all tags for today for you. So I didn't want to turn it into a card. So I figured I do still want to make it a tag. So I figured this would salvage the situation. <laughs> so this way I didn't have to redo anything. So what I did was I just offset it and I was able to make the hole at the top to put my ribbon for the tag. Now there is a lot of, um, like there's a lot of other stamps in here. Like you could put thank you. There's a th I believe there's a thank you one in here. Or, um... Yeah, thanks for being such a dear. There's one that says, hope you get better soon. Sorry I missed your birthday. Um, so different things like that. And there's also one I wanted to use with this one called We're Better Together. But I wanted to use the dies so I could show you what they looked like, okay? So that's my first tag for you, okay, which I love. And then my second tag I actually made using my bunch of circle dies. Um, and, and here goes that adorable ribbon again. So, and I used my silver paper that I had picked up from Hobby Lobby. And now for some reason, I know there's a big gold thing going on, which I absolutely love. I think it's beautiful. But for some reason, I, I tried doing this in gold and I don't know, it just wasn't speaking to me. <laughs> so I, I don't know, I keep going back to the silver and I think it looks really nice. So I cut out, um, the little class, I call them the classy reindeer in um, silver as long as as well as the back layer from this die set and I use the largest circle for the to layer on there um, and then the little I'm not sure if you could see it or not but I use this here this silver um, it's called Encore Ultimate Metallic Silver if you google this you can find it at Amazon because that's where I found it and it stamps beautifully. I love it because you don't have, if you don't feel like embossing, use that. And it does stamp on here. If you can see the little music note, that's also from this set. And Joy to You and Me is also from this set as well. And then I just use some silver and white um, hemp twine 
um, just to tie that at the top and add some sequins. Super duper easy to make. Um, if you want to make some, some classy tags for your family and friends, you could mass produce these in no time. I promise you, I was done with this real quick. Okay, last but certainly not least, I think it's just so adorable. This one here is that cutie patootie little reindeer die. Now, remember I showed you how you could put on the little extra piece, okay? So I wanted to make one showing you it without it, okay? So let me grab my little, I'll just use this here. So you see how the little nosy is on there and there's nothing behind it, okay? So for this one, instead of using the stamp, I use the little dies, the little tiny dot dies for that. And then this one here, I use the stamp. So same thing, it's just, if you want to use the stamp, it is much easier than trying to handle the, the little tiny pieces of the eyes. Now, I use the exact same bunch of circle dies like I did um, for the Joy to You and Me tag. And this one here, the Happy Holidays, comes from the set we showcased yesterday called Bows of Holly. Um, and then these pretty little silver... Um, snowflakes that you see on here is what I actually stamped with this and that was from the winter cheer set that we showcased actually you know what Bowls of Holly we showcased on Tuesday and then winter cheer is the one we showcased yesterday Wednesday and this is that glossy paper and you kind of have to just be careful with what you stamp on him because it is it gets um, smeared easily so I had to stamp my holidays in the um, stays on ink and then this was stamped with my Encore Ultimate Metallic and then I just heat set it but these two at the top I did not heat set and I found that they actually dried pretty quickly I was surprised um, so anyway so this is my little reindeer that I layered on I used that shadow for the back of them and then this beautiful little wreath. When I first designed this, I wanted to put a wreath around him so bad. The little holly dies were too big that were in that Bowser of Holly set. So what I did was I took the little tiny leaf dies that came in the set we showcased on Monday. Um, what was that one called? That one was called seasonal greetings that includes the coordinating dies. I took the really tiny dies that had the, let me see if I can show you if it's here. Oh yeah, it's right here. This is the little tiny die that comes in that set. You see how it has all the little details of the embossing on it? Well, I cut this out six times because it was small enough. And then I just kind of arranged them in a little half circle. Um, I glued them all together and then the die that came with the set for the eyes I cut that out like three different times so I could have six but I only used five on here and then I used that for the little berries I'm not sure if you could see it or not isn't that so cute it reminds me of like this little reindeer looks like he just came from Hawaii <laughs> I love this one so anyways that is it those are my three tags for you today um Oh, before I forget, I have one more tag for you. Remember how we usually do a freebie? So I'll just go ahead and I'll show that to you. Starting tomorrow at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, that's when we will have our release blog hop and we will have our sale, which everything we showcase today will be available for purchase at my store. And that is my-creative-time.com. And... The first 150 shoppers will receive this Christmas doggy stamp set. It has a total of five stamps in here. Isn't that super duper adorable? Um, total of five stamps and it also, um, you don't have to add this to your cart or anything. We will automatically just put it in your cart for you, in your package for you. Once the 150th shopper comes through, we will offer this for sale and you will see it with all the rest of the release, okay? And here goes the tag I made with it right here. Super simple. I used my little winter snowflakes that I had came out with last year. Stamped it, colored it, and that's it. And that's it everybody. I kind of have to speed this up because it looks like my camera's about to die. I'm hoping it gets all of this um, before it dies. So anyways, these are my tags 
for today. I hope you enjoyed all of the sneaky peeks we did for you this week. Um, don't forget to check my blog to see if you were the lucky winner of yesterday's sneaky peek. And don't forget to check back tomorrow because I will be picking one lucky winner to win this set called Oh Dear. So leave your comments tonight and check my blog before you go shopping because you might have win this be before you purchase it, okay? So thanks again, everybody. Have a fabulous day, and I will see you tomorrow at 8 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. Have a good day, everybody. Bye-bye.